guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my curator's collection, um, my new my new curator's collection kit. And yeah, I wanted to get a um, you know bit more done in our ring uh, ring bound journal. Sorry, can't speak now this morning. Uh, that we've been making. So so far, we kind of obviously stitched the pages together. You know, some pages together for our foundation page. Um, and then we just did a couple of pages and I can't actually remember whether we actually did even both of these together or, or just one of them. Um, but this is kind of it so far. So what I have done is um, over the last couple of evenings, I just, um, oops, let me just check I've got it all. Yep, I just um, spent the last couple of evenings making some more bits and bobs to be able to put in. So let's just move these bits. So some bits out and put them into those little bar folders that come with the curator's collection and then what I've done all of this is going to be oops different types of ephemera pieces I've also started preparing some clusters they've got more work to do on them so yeah we've got quite a few bits now <clears throat> ready to go onto pages so let's just turn this over now and get a page that obviously hasn't got anything on it so far so we've got these ones here and then for instance here I've just created a large pocket that I just need to trim these corners off here for the page uh, for the you know for the yeah for the corners basically like that and then this is ready to be glued on to a page so just need to you know be a little bit kind of mindful of which side is going to be the um what do you call it the you know the punch holes so for instance on here i would have them on this side so the lace is running down the edge so obviously this being my pocket i wouldn't want to have like that way round because the holes would punch into the pocket if that makes sense so i just want to make sure that my pocket you know is going to be on the right not the right side this in this instance it's the left side but you know what I mean um it's on the right side of the page as in not going to be on the wrong side of the page oh sorry that was uh, a bit of a long-winded description there so yeah we're just going to have it like that now again I think you know me being me I probably would quite like to have some lace hanging off of the page so I'm just seeing what lace I've got laying around oh where's my lace gone Oh no, where has my lace gone? Right, hold on a second. Oops. Okay, so I've got some lace here. Now I've also got my sari silk in this beautiful, vibrant shade of green. And yeah, I'm thinking I could incorporate that onto these pages as well. And if you saw the, you know, the other video that we were working on this, we've actually already started incorporating some black on here as well. So, you know, I can really kind of go to town on this because I've already started including black and, you know, of course I'm going to be included cre including cream. So, you know, we can go in all different directions with this. I'm trying to find the page where I included the black. Here we go. Um, so, yeah, we can kind of go in all different directions. We don't have to be limited to, you know, any one particular colour. Um, obviously, it's going to be matchy-matchy in terms of I'm going to be using the curator's collection you know throughout the whole journal um but i think aside from that we can be pretty you know pretty versatile with our pieces so i'm just having a look to see whether i might like to actually attach this onto that edge um and let me just see whether we would want any black lace or anything coming off because just before i glue this down you know just in case i want to have like any black lace coming off at the bottom it's probably worth, you know, whoops, factoring that in now. The, my only reservations actually with this is the black lace that we've got so far would be on the opposite side of this page. So, you know, I might decide that actually I'd prefer to have this on like a different page, i.e. like this one, so as I don't have all of my black lace pieces on consecutive pages, if that makes sense. So, you know, I haven't decided yet, but yeah, if I did want to have this, would I want to have it on a different page so that I didn't have like all black lace in one spot, if 
that makes sense. I mean, I might, who knows, might just, you know, come to the point where actually I've got black lace throughout the whole thing. Um, but just in case I don't, you know, it's worth taking things like that into consideration. Now, I also, as I say, prepped some little clusters or would would be clusters. They need finishing off. So I just pull those in. And yeah, I will definitely have one of those on on here. So just decide which one to have. It's funny, I feel like I did more than those, but perhaps I didn't. Perhaps that was all I did. You know, like when you do something and you think, I'm sure I did more than just, just that handful of things, but well, maybe I didn't. Who knows, maybe I didn't. So yeah, perhaps that's, perhaps that's all I actually did. Um, but if that's been the case, I probably would quite like to go with this one. So again, you know, looking at all the bits I'm going to be incorporating will give me an idea of the colours of the lace and all the rest of the things that I might want to have. So for instance here, maybe I would prefer to have a bit of this sari silk here stapled onto the cluster and then, you know, maybe a bit of black lace or something coming out from behind there because that would look really nice, wouldn't it? Now what we also were doing, we were putting gold around on the edges of our pieces. Now I can't remember, unfortunately, which um you know what we were using as the gold so because for me this is now a few well actually a couple of weeks after but i think we maybe used this so this is running a little bit low hopefully it's going to come out last time i squirted it out oops, it, you know it kind of like suddenly squirted out everywhere oh well it didn't squirt out everywhere but yep i have indeed already got it all over my hands oh dear I've only just opened it. Right, so I'm going to go around the edge of the pocket. Like that. Okay. Honestly, I mean, how could I have got so messy already? I've literally that second taken the top off. I don't see anybody else have this, this messy kind of thing going on. Don't know what goes on with me. I'm the same with everything. You know, like if I'm decorating anywhere, that's it. Within two seconds of the lid of the paint being off, I'm covered, covered in paint. I'm covered in paint. I'm just gonna go around the edges of all of these actually. You know, I'm covered in paint. The, yeah, everything is covered in paint. And um, you know, yeah, other people, I mean, they could paint an entire room. I mean, my mum's like that. She could paint an entire room and there would be no paint anywhere except for obviously, you know, of course on the walls or, you know, wherever it was that she was trying to get it. No, not me. It's the second the lid comes off, it's everywhere all over me, all over, you know, everything I touch, my cup, my, <laughs> you know, everything, it's everywhere. My face, where I then scratch my, you know, scratch my face and things like that. So yeah, just, I'm one of those messy people and you know, you just get people like that, don't you? And um, yeah, I'm one of those. I'm kind of in awe of those people who can actually achieve, you know, painting or anything messy without getting covered in it. I really am literally, at a loss to understand how they actually do it. You know, it's like, how how have you done that? You know, it's like, what? How did you do all of that and not get it all over yourself? It's like mystifying to me, absolutely mystifying, me, you know, to me. But yeah, I mean, I guess we are how we are, aren't we? And uh, you're either, you know, that way or you're not that way. Sadly, I am not that way, as in the tidy, the tidy way, I'm, I'm the other way. As in the, you know, no sooner is anything opened than it's everywhere. Okay. And, you know, the irony. I mean, fancy having a channel. Fancy having a channel doing messy stuff when you are one of those messy people. I mean, what on earth. I just really hope that actually there's loads of you out there. And when I, you know, when I do get messy, lots of you do say, oh, you're, you know, you're just like me. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just pray that loads of you actually just really resonate rather than sit there horrified, you know, I hope that you all kind of think, oh, I'm just like that myself, rather than thinking, oh my goodness, that woman's just like covered, covered in stuff, you know, how's she so messy? I'm hoping that you all in fact think, oh, you know, she's, she's just like me. I'm, I'm just like that myself. 
Um, yeah, right. Just need a slight bit more. Just, oops, just to do the um, the other side of this. Okay, right. That's good. Now, I probably will need some more gold paint, but yeah, I'm going to actually, while I've got this bit dabbed onto the desk, I'm just going to go around a couple more bits so that I've got it, you know, on quite a bit of the stuff that I'm going to be using. So I might put a bit onto that cluster, for example, just round some of the edge bits. Not all round, but yeah, just, just one or two bits like that. Okay. Uh, what else have I got here? Um, okay. So this was going to be an envelopey type thing. So again, just pop some around here. You know, I'm just using the paint up really, just to, you know, rather than waste it, I'd rather just use it, especially as I'm running a bit low of that colour. So I've got some other gold, but the other gold isn't quite as bright as this one. Um, you know, it's no less lovely, but yeah, probably, you know, if I'm using one, I want to stick with with using that as much as I can. I hope I've picked the right one, because, uh, yeah, like I say, I actually can't remember which one I was using, so let's just hope I've picked the right one and haven't just already gone off at a complete tangent as to the one that I was using. Okay, it's just my son and I today. So my daughter's at her dad's, um, you know, it's her weekend that she goes to her dad. And um, yeah, so my middle son, he's at work already. So yeah, it's just my son here. So he's just got up. It's on, it's on a Saturday, you know. Um, so he's just got up. It's about half 10, 20 to 11, I think. So I've obviously had breakfast and stuff, but yeah, obviously let him have a lay in. And um, yeah, he's just going to you know, get showered and get ready. And then we're gonna go and have a coffee somewhere. So we're gonna to go to Costa, I think, and have a coffee. And uh, then he wants me to run him down. He needs to pick his car up because it's been being repaired. So I need to run him down to collect his car from the garage. So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. And then who knows what we're doing this afternoon. I don't know what the weather's doing today, but it looks quite gray out there at the moment. Right, I'm just going to literally, um, you know, use up the very last of this. So I've got this one, which is going to be a sort of belly band type piece. So it's like a double, double belly band. Um, yeah, it looks quite grey out there. So I don't think we're going to be doing a walk or anything. I mean, we could. But to be honest, I mean, walks are not all that inviting, are they, when it's grey and drab? So, yeah, we probably won't. Okay. And then just a little dab here. Okay. Right. Okay. Just wipe off where I've dabbed it everywhere. Okay, right. Try and clean myself off a little bit. So, I mean, the good thing is this gold paint, it dries pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, I'm sure it's probably almost dry already. So I'm just going to bring that pocket back in. Not that this probably matters, but I try and have, you know, the edge that's got the join of the paper because it's just a folded up sheet of paper. So I try and have the join at the back of the paper rather than the front. Like I say, I mean, it's really, you know, it doesn't really matter at all because it's not like it's gaping open or anything like that. So, yeah, that's going to go on here. I'm going to obviously have the cluster on here and let's just see. If I want to have a little bit of lace kind of like coming out underneath just oops just at the bottom because that looks pretty doesn't it so like that now if I then want to have some black lace which of course I do any excuse to have a bit of black lace so what I'm thinking is you know maybe a little bit coming out from the from the cluster itself like that Okay, so that looks really pretty, doesn't it? And, you know, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have this down here. Right, so I want to now make sure this is, you know, holding its own, if you see what I mean. So, right, I 
think what I'm going to do. Actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in in pieces because I'm going to glue straight down, which will then obviously hold the lace in place. So I'm just going to stick it on the bottom flap first, like that, which will obviously hold that lace in place. And then I can obviously fold the pocket down to get to the other bits, you know, the other sides that need gluing down, if you see what I mean. So we've got this one. Now what I could do is add actually a foldy piece coming out from here. Now if I add foldy pieces generally to pockets, it would be automatic that I would put them into the pocket side, um, you know, if that makes sense. But to be honest, there's no reason. Oh, that one's uh, not double-sided, so that's, oh, isn't that annoying? Yep, there. Neither, neither are double-sided. Um, what I could do, there's no reason why I couldn't actually have a piece going in here. So let's just take this down like that. Okay. Like that. And yeah, there's no reason why I couldn't have a little folded flap coming out from, you know, the stuck down side, if that makes sense. And then what I could do is actually have this folded inwards like that. Like that. Or, or could have it coming down from the top. So, yeah, I mean, I haven't really ever done that before because, like I say, I would always normally put the cluster, I'm just going to pop that lace on, um, pop the cluster onto the open edge but there's no reason at all why I couldn't have it on the you know the glued down edges which actually to be fair maybe even would work better like that because you know having it on like this open edge is possibly even kind of making this a bit vulnerable to getting torn because you know that's kind of yeah like a vulnerable spot so you know actually maybe having it tucked up is actually maybe a better option so just need to decide now do I want it on the side like that or do I want it at the top like that I mean I like it either way to be honest I'm going to just snip this down because I tore it thinking I would have the torn edge but actually it doesn't really look right with the torn edge so I'm going to just take that off now I wonder if I can get away with using my little iron paint stick to get a little bit of gold around there. Maybe I used the paint stick, did I, before? I honestly can't remember. I mean, how terrible is that? I mean, it wasn't like it was years ago. It was, you know, a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, I just really have got no clue what I actually used. Honestly, terrible. My, my memory is just shocking. You know, I laugh all the time about it, but I mean, it's not really funny. It's not really funny. I mean, although I try and make out it's, it's funny. You know, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, it would be definitely worrying if I had to remember something. You know, my life was depending on it. Oh, that would be awful. Absolutely awful. Right, so let's have a look here. And I'm thinking this like this with, oops, this folded over. I'm going to have the cluster on there. And then I'm actually thinking, could we have like a little policy closure for this flap? So again, just take my little circles. I like to always keep a bunch punched out ready. Okay. Oops. Now, I love them in the um, buff colour. So I just need to decide, do I want buff colour or do I want ivory? Oh, it's a tough one, this. Uh, I mean, I could have it right down there. There's no reason why I have to have it kind of up. I think it maybe looks better further down. Oh, what a decision. Ivory or buff coloured? That is so difficult to decide. Honestly, I'm so sorry to be struggling with the decision, but oh, I don't want to make the wrong decision. Yeah, don't want to kind of make the wrong decision and then regret it. Let's just 
have a look because I've got a couple of the buff coloured ones that are ready gold, you know, in gold. Um, oh, let me just gold around the edge of an ivory one. I mean, it's not really ivory, it's, it's coffee dyed, but you know. Okay, one, two. Okay. Have a look. Oh, which one? Which one? Do you know, I was really veering towards the um, buff coloured one, you know, the craft coloured card until I gilded it and actually now I've gilded it I think possibly yeah possibly the ivory one morning sweetie I was just saying how we're going to go to Costa in a minute and um, have a coffee so yeah we're looking forward to that uh right let's just get a brad and put that through I do love those policy closures I just there's something about them they just always have like such a vintagey thing don't they they um yeah i mean they really do seem very vintage don't they when you have those policy closures oh no this is where i now discover i have no brads left oh sorry about this folks this is uh not panning out very well is it i thought oh brilliant and i've got time i can come and do a video and yeah now look it's um it's going to pop because i've now not got all the stuff that i need right i have definitely got some brads in my little um you know, ephemery thing that I take out in my bag. So let me just grab some from there. Oh, not many even in there. So I must, must, must buy some more. Yes, must put that on my list of things to buy, hopefully this weekend. Right, okay, let's put a brad in there. Yeah, so I hope that everyone's having a good day. I don't know what day of the week this is, obviously, when I'm uploading it but I hope you're all having a nice time and a, a good day hope the sun's shining where you are okay just makes you feel better doesn't it when the sun's shining you know everyone feels better when the sun shines I think just going to cut that little edge of the brad off because it seems to look a bit long and on the other one sometimes they have long long legs as they call it so Right, okay. So yeah, that's going to look really, really nice like that. Now, could use baker's twine or could use um, string. I'm just going to see what colour baker's twine I've actually got, whether I've got anything that would, you know, go well. I mean, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah, perhaps I'll go with the baker's twine, I think. So again, all I'm going to do is just cut off a little bit and then oops, I'm just going to glue that literally onto here so I think what I want to do is probably do it in order as in glue my piece down here and then do it now I'm just wondering again oh in addition whether I might be able to have one of these gorgeous tassels on there I mean, the beauty of a ring bound journal is, you know, you don't have to worry about it being bulky because, um, you know, it's it's on rings. So whereas with a flat, you know, flatter journal, you might not be able to get away with little things like this on a ring bound journal. You can be much more um, elaborate, you know, in your decorating. So I've actually got a space there. I could, oops, could have it hanging out here. Oh, gosh, come on. Obviously, obviously I would do this properly. I'm just trying to see how it would look first. So yeah. Oh, how pretty does that look? I love how that looks. Right, okay. So I think what I want to do is probably, uh, what do I want to do? <gasps> right, probably put this all down first. So I'm going to glue this onto the actual pocket itself as the first thing so it's kind of like a case of do it in stages so glue this down here oh hold on like that okay and then fold that up there okay right just hold that down for a couple of seconds while it sort of you know glues down because it's 
wet glue so just holding that down okay like that okay right hopefully that's glued now and then all I'm going to do is sorry that was just something dropped off behind me um, yeah then I'm going to just glue it down so this glue is obviously still seeping out but just going to glue down this edge now so like that and I can glue here as well like that okay like that right get that little bit of glue out okay right that was a bit of a sort of ah like brain surgery type scenario isn't it I don't know why that was taking me so long to fathom out I just had to get the order right of how I wanted to glue things because you know like if you glue the wrong thing down first then it obviously um you know can just make it a bit more tricky to then line up your bits if you see what I mean so now we've got that now what I want to next do is get my tassel I just want to glue this whoops glue this coming out in front of the lace if you see what I mean so like that whoops like that so behind the card in front of the lace so let's just now add a little bit of glue here like that like that okay oh gosh oh goodness I've got a horrible feeling this is now going to be completely lopsided ah, right okay and then this is going to all oh gosh glue down like that but of course it's going to clamp that baker's twine into it as well like that so then the baker's twine will then come down and wind around here which we will obviously glue this on lost so then everything should be exactly where it needs to be <laughs> from an opening point of view if that makes sense so i am going to, going to leave our baker's twine there um which will hopefully then just yeah get clamped down i could glue a little bit actually down now and then i know it's you know it's already stuck i don't have to worry about you know making sure it's kind of like glued down so like that right then I'm going to take my cluster and we're just going to glue the whole cluster everywhere Oops. like that onto here so like that okay oh right Honestly, I mean, you wouldn't have thought it would be so complicated with you, but <laughs> yeah, it's just to be honest, if you don't be careful, you know, you can end up then with your bits not really lined up and then it's not going to, of course, work in a nice way when you come to, you know, open and close or, you know, whatever, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you do, well, I, I think you do need to think about things a little bit um, when doing things like this. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it's fine, it is doable, but I think there's just an easier way to do it and a, a more complicated way. So if I'd glued this down first, the likelihood of me getting all of this exactly in the right position, it was probably going to be unlikely. Whereas now, all I need to now do is obviously glue my, my circle down there and everything's just perfectly, you know, lined up where it should be. So then I've got this little bow, which I just thought, well, maybe that would look quite cute on our cluster as well it actually looks nice everywhere on there doesn't it so yeah should I have it there or could have it on this side we could have it here at the top of the tassel looks cute um you know I'd originally thought we'd have it down the bottom but yeah I'm now kind of thinking oh it looks quite pretty on the cluster oh, such a tough decision I mean, I like it to the side, to be honest. Uh, the other thing that I actually I thought would look really nice is I thought we could have a row of those little pearls. Not a row, but, you know, kind of three or something of those little pearls to the side. Now, of course, I'm now not going to be able to find my little tiny pearls here on my desk. 
they're just permanently sat in my huge evergreen pile and of course they're really tiny um i mean they're in a packet well yeah they're in a packet um but you know they are flat so you know they just obviously get buried completely under everything so yeah i probably won't now be able to actually find them but i did find some bling so yeah we'll probably have some bling somewhere oh come on where are those pearls no i can't now see them anywhere Nope, of course I can't see them. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a shame because they would have looked quite good. I have got some slightly bigger ones, but I think these are too big, really. Actually, they don't look too bad. I thought they were going to look really, like, monstrous, but, yeah, they actually don't look too bad. So, let's just see if we want to have... I, for some reason, always like to do things in a little um, set of three. I don't know why. But, yeah, so I think just, like, set off... A little kind of thing of three on there looks pretty doesn't it right I'm just going to put this bow down because otherwise again I'm just keep moving that around the whole time and um, yeah I just find myself irritating myself to be honest doing it so I'm pretty sure I must be irritating to everybody else so yep let's just take our little pearls now these are self adhesive pearls um, you know ie they do have a sticky back side but to be honest I just never really feel confident that they're going to stick down. So yeah, I do always oops, I do always like to stick them down as well. Often use my hot glue, but today I'm just, you know, just using my wet glue. Not for any particular reason, but just that the wet glue was here. So it's the hot glue, but yeah. I'm having a bit of a fingers and thumbs day today anyway, so it's probably best not to not to risk gluing my finger anywhere. So, yeah, right. Okay. And what happened to that other pearl? <laughs> probably got it stuck on me and you're probably all watching. Oh, it is stuck on me. Like, I knew it would be. Just knew it had to be. Okay, right. Oops. Oh, my goodness. Now I've pulled the other one off. What on earth? This is what happens when you're covered in glue because, of course, everything then sticks straight onto you. Oh, dear. Right. Right, OK. So, how pretty does that look? I can't help but feel like this does need more on it because, you know I mean? Oops, sorry. Just chucking things around. Um, I always think everything needs more. So, yeah, I'm thinking a little bit of ruffle, maybe. Maybe. Um, if we can get away with it. So, oh, I mean, we could have it here. That's weird. No, that's weird. Uh, that's going to be in the way of the thing in me, Bob. You know, the holes. Could have it here, just kind of running down the side, uh, you know, on top of that pocket. It is a little bit in the way of this, but not too bad. So, and obviously don't forget this, you know, can be actually closed here. With the string. Um... Yeah, let's just have a look. Didn't seem so tightly stitched on that side. So let's just see this one. Oops. Oh, I mean, yeah, there's not probably that much room there. Although we could have it like that. Let me just cut this down. And just see. If we could have that just kind of like touched like that. Oh, it's a bit a bit in the way, isn't it? Oh, I should have thought of that when I obviously was gluing that um, circle down, shouldn't I? I mean, you can't think of everything, I, I always think, you know. But yeah, sometimes it is annoying because, you know, afterwards you think, oh no, that's a shame, you know. That's now not really working. And um, yeah. But I mean, you know, it's fine. We've We've made it work. We've stuck some ruffle on there. We were determined to get some on, and hey, look, it's on there now. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's that page. So, that's our big pocket there, plus we've obviously got here our little flap here with more journaling space there. So, yeah, quite a bit kind of going on. I mean, to be honest, again, had I thought of this, we could have even had a pocket here on top of this big pocket. 
obviously I have now glued not only the ruffle but the um, circle as well but yeah we could have actually had a pocket on there as well didn't actually think of that at the time which is a shame um, we could do something now you know make like a very small pocket just with one of the um, you know ephemera type pieces from the curators collection so let's just have a look at that I you know I don't know might just look a bit cluttery but I mean yeah I quite like it actually just see how that would look yeah it still looks fine so yeah let's have that on there oops so again just going to glue this down with the wet glue like that sorry about my son if you can hear him coughing he's fine he's not he's not ill or anything but yeah just having a, a little bit of a cough um right sorry about this wipe i just that second finished doing another video um an art journaling page oh, which i have to say did not go that brilliantly so um yeah it will be going up eventually but it's it's not my best work it's got to be said um but yeah so that's why the wipe is all very dirty so let me just get rid of that okay right so what we've got here is of course we've got a little tiny pocket now that we could put a little something in and then we've got obviously the big pocket at the side and then of course we've got the flap so let's just cut out something or possibly i've got something in my little ephemera folders that i can just tuck straight into there so let's just take this one Okay. right so I haven't double sided these unfortunately so it, it is white on the back but you know that's fine so I mean how cute is that and what a gorgeous gorgeous page and to be honest you know it didn't really take too much effort putting that together the main effort for me was thinking about the configuration of everything making sure it would all work um, and then yeah we've obviously got this large <laughs> large pocket here in the side that we can put something in so let's have a look on the other side <laughs> side sorry about this I've got now a frog in my throat mine's obviously too much talking so so for this one I've just made literally a double belly band so all I've done is taken some of the background page here and literally glued another piece of the belly uh, another piece of the background paper different one on top of it and then it could be glued top and bottom and then what you've got is obviously a double belly band so you've got this one and then you've got this one so I just thought simplicity itself, but how gorgeous is that? And then again, you know, we can have a lovely ruffle on there. So let's just take that there like that. So I'm just going to do this as we go. So top and bottom with the wet glue like that. Okay. Like that. Okey doke. I mean, to be honest, it just looks lovely, just exactly how it is, doesn't it? It doesn't even need anything else. It just looks brilliant, I think, just how it is. Um, you know, just that double belly band kind of, con kind of configuration. Um, but yeah, if we then just put like a lovely ruffle on there, we might be able to have some black lace or something coming out at the bottom. Let's just see. Okay. Oh, I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Maybe off to that side, I think. So, yep, again, just going to leave that lace there. And then I'm just going to hot glue the ruffle. So hopefully this is going to then go straight over that lace and glue the lace in place. So the only reason I didn't glue direct onto the paper was because of course that lace would then be moving so yeah oops like that okay like that how gorgeous does that look and then of course like i said i made some clusters so we can just take one of those okay oops like that Looks pretty, doesn't it? And then, actually, I'm just going to check that that's the cluster I want because I have got a couple of others. Honestly, I was so convinced I'd made more clusters than this. It's really strange. 
Um, but yeah, this one's probably a good shape. Or that one. Oh, let's just use this one. Um, yeah, let's now just have a bit of lace again on there. So again, I'm feeling this cluster needs now a little bit of gold on it. Like that. I mean, to be honest, this is the closest to, you know, using bugs that I've ever done in a junk journal. I know I've talked about this before. I mean, for some reason, I just, I can't really get myself to use the bugs. You know, like, I mean, Tracy um, Fox, she uses bugs and things all the time and they look amazing, don't they? For some reason, I just can't. They, it's, I don't think I'm drawn to them naturally, um, you know, and so I can't then seem to, to make myself use them, really. Um, you know, but this is the closest I've come to using bugs. And to be fair, I'm really loving how they look. Um, because to me, this doesn't feel very bug-like. You know, they're very, very pretty colours um, in this whole kit. So, yeah, it doesn't feel like too buggish to me. So, um, yeah, if you're like me and you can't quite bring yourself to use bugs, you know, then maybe... I'm not necessarily saying that you have to buy this kit or, you know, that this kit is the one. But, you know, if you find bugs that are in a sort of less buggish colour than you would normally expect, then maybe that's kind of a way to feel OK about using them, you know, because then they won't seem quite like they're bugs, if you know what I mean. You know, this has got all those beautiful teals and pinks and things like that in this kit. So... Actually, the fact they're bugs is like sort of um, overshadowed by the lovely colours. Just where, yeah, I feel like normally I'm just really glaringly aware that I'm using bugs. Well, not that I have used them before, I don't think, but... Oh dear, I'm just waffling now. So, right. <laughs> yep, obviously I'm in need of that, that coffee. Right. That looks very pretty, doesn't it? And then I've got, obviously, this bling which, I mean, I always love some, you know, an excuse to use some bling, so. <gasps> oh my goodness. How gorgeous does that look? Oh my goodness, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Can't help but feel like I would like something else pinky. So if I've got some, um, you know, background paper with the roses, I'm going to just have a look and see if I could just tear a little bit to put somewhere up there you know like we've got here these roses poking out I'd quite like something like that at the top so let's just have a look here so I've got a few bits actually with roses so yeah let's take let's take this bit okay let's tear around here so I'm thinking either actually tear it down and kind of have it as part of the cluster or put it onto the background page i'm not sure which is better um as part of the cluster hmm, it would have to be quite high up let me just tear this down and actually just just tear this down as well so yeah hold on i mean is that strange to be honest, I don't think actually it really makes any difference whether it's part of the cluster or whether it's glued to the background paper. I think either way it could work, you know, would work, could work. Um, so it's just a case of, yeah, which which is better. I'm going to just include it as part of the cluster, you know. Um, so, yeah, let's just be, be bold and do that. And then I'm just going to tear around here so it's not quite so big. And then I might just gold it as well. Because doing that is going to make it then obviously part of the cluster, if you see what I mean. Rather than just a little bit that I've added on, it's now actually part of that cluster. So, yeah, like that. Okay, well, that has made it a little bit on the wide side, but that's okay. So let's just tear this down on that side. Okay, so that's a bit better. And, yeah, I'll just, again, 
go back in with the gold now like that right okay now this flower obviously ivory i mean it looks quite pretty but i can't help but think actually a pink flower would be better so sorry for knocking the table there i've got some flowers that i bought from amazon i haven't opened these yet but i'm hoping that these are just a small version of the bigger ones that i've been using late, lately um oh where's the opening sorry and i can't see the opening to the packet so oh you'll be pleased to know that i'm i'm stopping the video in a minute and going to go going to go out yes not quite all the time oh these are purpley aren't they they're not that one's mm. well it's not really it's not really pink is it it looked pink in the packet and then i put it on here and it does not look like it goes on here at all because it's actually quite lilac-y coloured. Um, let me just try and ink it up a bit with my walnut stain. Okay. I don't know whether this is going to, um, you know, tone it down in the right direction. It might just tone it down, but not, not making it the right colour, if that makes sense. So, yeah, let's just... Oh, where's my, where's my blendy tool now? Sorry, everything is now got very messy obviously in the course of doing this video so I do apologize for that now um oh how annoying is this right sorry I'm just now looking for my blendy tool which was of course there and yeah it's now become buried in amongst stuff in amongst just everything everything that's here oh, come on no where is it gone where oh where has it gone I mean, honestly, it's got limited places that it could go. Oh, who knows? No idea. Oh, this is very annoying. Right, let's just go with my finger. Not ideal at all. In fact, let's just, just dip it. Oh my goodness, that's definitely, definitely not how I wanted to do that, was it? No. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Well, this is not quite how um quite how I wanted it to go, but let's just see. Ah, oh, that just looks awful, doesn't it? Yep, that looks pretty awful. So um yeah, won't be going for that. Let me see whether I've got some little pretty pink ones, you know, because I just want a sort of delicate pink type colour. Um oh, isn't it annoying when you've got everything but I mean, I've definitely got some, but they're not near my desk. And so I was just trying to, um, you know, save myself getting up, really. And, yeah, stopping the video. I didn't want to have to stop the video. So I might have to glue the flower on after, just um, to save having to stop the video. So just going to glue this down. And, again, I'm just hot gluing this now because it's nice and fast. And then, you know, it's glued. I don't have to worry about it so like that isn't that just gorgeous so we've got belly band here belly band here I mean what a lovely pocket or you know page and it took like no time whatsoever to come together did it and to be honest we could even have another little row of three of those pearls there because they would look quite pretty wouldn't they So just going down on that edge, oops, on that edge, oh, every time I pick one off it just flicks, flicks into the packet. So again, just going to quickly glue these into place, that one, oops, and that one. Oh my goodness, come on. And then that one. Oh, sorry about this. Oh, I don't know why I fiddle around with fiddly things, to be honest. It's just crazy, crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Right. Okay. So, that is that page. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? I just absolutely love it. So, yeah, I mean, it's very slowly but surely coming together. So we've got our couple of pages now 
so you know don't know obviously which um you know which pages i will be putting next to each other but i mean actually don't they look wonderful together so yeah i'm thinking possibly those would go together and then this one i could have perhaps with the ones that we did here so yeah so i hope that you like them i mean oh i just yeah they're very very yummy colors i have to say so thank you so much for watching if you like the kit obviously it's available in my etsy shop and yeah thank you so so much and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks then bye